All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. In this video, we're going to do some practice questions on premise and conclusion, identifying the premise and conclusion. If you are already an expert at identifying premise and conclusion and recognizing an argument, you may want to skip this video. If not, uh, you may want to watch the first videos in this video series playlist, but let's get started. So we've learned already what an argument is. An argument is a group of statements with the intention to prove something. It consists of premise and conclusion. Now, what is a statement? A statement is a sentence that is either true or false. This apple is red. That is a statement. It's either true that this apple is red or it's false that this apple is red. It's a statement. It's a claim. Now, what is a premise? A premise is evidence that supports a conclusion. What is a conclusion? Conclusion is the statement that is implied by the premise. So an argument is a group of statements that can be separated into premise and conclusion. Let's continue. Here's an example of an argument. These are the premises. This here is the conclusion. All right, you're going to be an expert at identifying arguments and separating the premise and the conclusion. Okay, premise indicator words, since, because, here's a list of them. Here's a list of conclusion indicator words. These indicator words will help you recognize if it's a conclusion or a premise. You want to separate the argument in premise and conclusion. Notice this is the conclusion. You see the conclusion indicator word, therefore. That lets you know that a conclusion is coming next. You can take a screenshot of this or make a note, and let's continue. All right, we're going to start with a couple of practice problems on identifying the premise. So in the video, just press pause, then resume the video to find out the answer. Here's a practice question for you. Identify the premise and the premise indicator word. Tourism will increase in the USA because travel regulations have been reduced, and reduced regulations means more travelers. What is the premise and premise indicator word? The answer is, all right, the premise indicator word is because. Now, identify the premise and conclusion. The answer is, all right, very good. Here is the conclusion. Tourism will increase in the USA. And the red box is the conclusion. And the two premises. Very good. All right, practice argument number two. Given that marijuana is legal in Canada and not in the U.S., Congress should act to legalize marijuana. All right, identify the premise indicator. The answer is, the answer is given that. Given that is the premise indicator. Now, identify the premise and the conclusion. The answer is, that's correct. The premise is in the blue squares, and the conclusion is in the red square. Here is another practice problem. There are more hate crimes in the U.S. than there are in Europe. Accordingly, the government should outlaw hate speech, and as much as the police are powerless to stop hate speech. Identify the premise indicator. The answer is, that's correct. The premise indicator is in as much as. Now, identify the premise and the conclusion. The answer is, that's right. The premises are in the blue squares, and the conclusion is in the red square. Okay, very good. I think you're good at identifying the premise indicator words. Now, let us practice the conclusion indicator words. Take a look here. Memorize these. Anytime you see this, you should know that a conclusion is nearby. Let us begin. Here's a practice problem. Voter fraud is out of control and it's a threat to our democracy. Thus, the voting ballot should be regulated. Identify the conclusion indicator. The answer is, that's right, the conclusion indicator word is thus. Now, identify the premises and the conclusion. The answer is, that's right, the conclusion is in the red box and the premises in the blue box. Here is another practice problem. Every year there are many mass shootings. Hence, something should be done to keep guns out of the hands of citizens. Identify the conclusion indicator, and then identify the premise and the conclusion. The answer is, very good. The conclusion indicator word is, hence. And the conclusion follows in the red box. The premise is in the blue box. Here is another practice problem. Species are going extinct, people are poaching wildlife, 
and pollution is at an all-time high. So, the environment needs our protection. Identify the conclusion indicator word. The answer is so. The conclusion indicator word is so. Now, identify the premises and the conclusion. The answer is, that's right, the conclusion is in the red square, and notice there are three premises in the blue squares. Okay, now that you guys have a good understanding of the premise and conclusion indicator words, there's another thing we must take into mind, and that is some arguments do not have premise or conclusion indicator words. Now, what do we do in this situation? Well, this is where the inferential relation comes in. And that is, you must look for an inferential relation among the statements, among the premise and conclusion. The meaning of the statements should reveal the conclusion. Here's an example of an argument that does not contain any indicator words for premise or conclusion. People who make illegal bombs should be severely punished. Illegal bombs kill innocent people, and they cause millions of dollars in damage. Now, in this argument, the meaning of the statements indicates that the last two statements provide support for the first statement. Therefore, the first statement here is the conclusion. Notice here the argument in the two premises and the conclusion. And this argument does not contain any indicator words for conclusion or premises. Now, in most arguments that lack indicator words, the conclusion is usually the first sentence. All right, let's work a few practice problems. Here's a practice problem for you. Listen to this argument. Aliens exist outside of our atmosphere. Astronomers have received radio waves from outer space, and radio waves come from intelligent beings. Now identify the premises and the conclusion. The answer is, that's correct. Conclusion in the red, premises in the blue. Here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. Capital punishment should be abolished. The death penalty is inhumane, cruel, and unfair. Also, many innocent criminals are wrongly accused. Press pause if you need to as you identify the premise and the conclusion. The answer is, that's right, two premise in the blue and one conclusion in the red. Here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. The human genome is being studied at a fast rate. Researchers are learning to fix broken DNA. A cure for cancer will be here soon. Identify the premises and the conclusion. The answer is, that's right, the conclusion in the red square and the two premise in the blue square. Here is another practice problem. Listen to this argument. Investing money in a startup is risky. It's not a good place to put your paycheck. If a person invested in the startup Goo Goo, he would have lost all his money. Identify the premise and the conclusion. And the answer is, that's correct. The conclusion in the red square and the premise in the blue squares. That's a great job at identifying those premise and conclusion. Here's something new for you. Some arguments and the statements in the arguments are neither premise or conclusion. It's not always the case that every statement appearing in an argument is a premise or conclusion. Now, some statements that are merely introductory or making passing comments, they're neither premise or conclusion. For example, listen to this argument. Although democracy has advanced recently, communism remains in many parts of the world. In some countries, it's illegal to speak against the government. In some countries, you cannot even choose your occupation. Okay, here's the premise and the conclusion. Conclusion in the red, premise in the blue. Notice this statement is neither a premise or a conclusion. It's simply an introductory statement. All right, now that you notice that, let's try a practice problem. Listen to this argument. Racism still exists in the world. Some bathrooms are still segregated. Prisons house inmates according to their race. Bad morals have no place in society. 
All right, press pause and identify the premise and the conclusion. The answer is, that's right, the conclusion in the red and the two premises in the blue. Notice the last statement is not part of the argument, it's just a passing comment. Wow, did we cover a lot in 10 minutes? And that's a great job. Maybe go through this once or twice, see our other videos on logic, and stay tuned. For that's all, folks.